Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Great Zage here and this is what if Naruto had a leveling system part 5. Yes, that's right guys. I have returned. I have made my return. I am awesome. But I have made my return. And here I am with the next part to it. So I hope you all do enjoy this part. Not going to get into too much here. Just saying like this part is going to be good. It's going to be awesome. And I hope you all do enjoy it. But I just want to give you a little bit, a few reminders. Remember, you're awesome. You have your own personal value. You are a king or a queen for my female viewers, which I highly doubt I have any. But still. So remember your self-value, where you're important. And remember that you are awesome. But besides all that, let's go ahead and get started. Get started with the video. And yeah, it's started. She, she, she gripping that dick like she was a lost She party at night like she was a rock star. She singing my song like be la di da. She calling me daddy, but then I don't follow. Love building with that she like big as some water. Could give you the world with the wave of a wand. We friendly, yeah. I bitch cause more Wanda. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with this. What if? So we go ahead and do a time skip. We see Naruto now in the dungeon fighting off a bunch of bunch of monsters, each one of them being having a different attribute and element. Naruto had now gone up to higher floors as Naruto, actually surprisingly, was now level 23. Now it's been a couple of months since Team 7 has, well, done. Well actually it's only been a month, but it's been a while since Team 7 went ahead and did the bell test and Naruto's conf confrontation with Sasuke. Now Naruto for most part had been training with his body release and has actually been gaining some new abilities. Well not new abilities but he's been gaining new knowledge. Naruto has been inside the dungeons and each time he completed one, each one of them be giving him ideas of different abilities. And how like one of them, he has information on the Renegon, the Mokitan, he has a diff he knows about different Kagegenkais, pretty much it's like a... How could I say it? It's like when you're in a game and you discover something and it gets registered into it. So pretty much he's been registering new information into his data, which makes him allow which allows him to remember exactly what he learns. Also, Naruto's proficiency with weapon ha with weaponing have been increased even further. Naruto's skills with the dagger was unparalleled. Like even Kakashi cannot challenge Naruto when it comes to daggers. His movement is very swift, calculative, and it's very hard to even beat Naruto. Naruto has actually openly sparred with Kakashi on multiple occasions. And most of the times, the fight would actually go ahead and mostly end in a... Well, with Kakashi winning, of course. But there has been draws, which actually surprised Kakashi. Now, he did even... He even needed to do the... He, he even needed to pull out the Sharingan just to win against Naruto. But that was mostly due to the fact that Naruto... Well, he's different. He's literally, like, built different. Plus, also, the fact that, not, like, he's not trying all out with the Sharingan, like, not pulling out all the Jutsus. But Naruto is, like, a very difficult opponent to face off against. Also, due to the fact that Naruto had now gone up a new level, Naruto was actually able to increase his observation skill to a full-on mastery. As he was now able to see Kakashi's level. As, to his surprise, Kakashi's level was level 48, which surprised Naruto. As his level was above and beyond his own. Jeez. This guy's a freaking monster. Naruto would think. Of course during that time. But that's not the only thing that's been happening. Team 7's course. Well Team 7 of course went, went through changes. But Kakashi would have been noticing that the teamwork is severely lacking. One being the fact that well. One Sasuke CPority complex to Naruto. Ever since that little incident, Sasuke cannot help but whenever he looks at Naruto, he sees Itachi. That gets him pissed, and he wants to challenge the blonde. So with that, he'll go ahead and you know actually try challenging Naruto on some occasions, but Sasuke had lost to him repeatedly. As after that, Naruto mostly just sparred with Kakashi, causing Sasuke to get even more jealous, as he would spar with Kakashi only to get whooped. Now, Sakura also had a, I guess things were going on. She tried her best to, you know, try making Naruto feel bad about himself, trying to berate him, but nothing was working. So this caused Sakura to actually begin to really actually, you know, begin to wonder what was her self-value? Like, literally, 
considering the fact that she began to realize something after Naruto had spoken to her on one occasion. Flashback. It was after the time that, you know, Team Cell once again did that dreaded terror of all missions in Konoha, catching Tora, the demon cat. It was even worse, maybe it was nearly on the level of the Nine-Tailed Fox. Some people would say that. As if that was a rumor that went around Konoha. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But after that, Sakura would go ahead and begin to ask Sasuke on a date, of course, like usual. But Sasuke would decline her her chance. So she goes ahead and instantly gets upset. And looking for a way to vent out her anger, she would instantly see Naruto about to walk away. So she then shouts, oh, Naruto, stop acting all cool and everything. You're not going to be like Sasuke. However, Naruto would go ahead and stop. He then says, is that all you ever think about? Or is that like, what's wrong with you? At this, Sakura goes ahead and she was surprised that Naruto even talked to her, considering the fact that Naruto would mostly ignore her. At this, she's like, what? As Naruto goes ahead and sighs, <sighs> Listen up, Haruno. Listen, I don't know about your delusions or anything. I told you multiple times I do not care, but let me get it through your thick skull already. First of all, what is up your delusion with Sasuke? It's almost as if he's your life. At this, Sakura was about to shout that, he, that he was not, but this is when Naruto actually asked her a damn good question. Tell me, name one sentence that you went ahead and not mentioned Sasuke. Name one time Sasuke was not on your mind. And this put Sakura in a, stands, in a standstill. When was the last time she never thought about Sasuke? At this, she will remember all the way back the very first time she even mentioned Sasuke. Like the very first time before she even met Sasuke or even seen him was the last time she last you know the last time she never even thought of him but ever since that time when Eno went ahead and talked back to her that was the only thing she could ever talk about Sasuke did Sasuke that as she realized that heck most of her sentences do not end with either Sasuke like it, it always has Sasuke's name into it at this Sakura goes ahead and just dumbfounded by this information as Naruto walks off not even paying any mind while Kunma is like you know He's like, I'm glad to see that you're growing up, kid. So after that, Sakura has really been checking on her obsession with Sasuke. I'm not saying she's taking Ko her Konoichi training seriously, but she's beginning to, you know, not really ask out Sasuke that much anymore and tries to see more things clearly. As for Naruto, his training has been going brilliantly. Naruto had gotten more jutsus, of course, as his lightning style went ahead and got actually one more lightning jutsu, that being a lightning style, lightning wave. As he goes ahead and shoots a well, a wave of lightning throughout the entire body, pretty much frying it completely. Naruto doesn't really use the jutsu a lot unless he was either using it for torture or for cooking steak. I know it's weird, but still. He also gained a fire jutsu, that being the fireball, well, fire style fireball jutsu. As he mostly got it after defeating Sasuke, as it was actually a side quest, surprising Naruto. Naruto also got a couple more wind jutsus, that being the wind style Chaos Whirlwind, which was a B ring, surprising Naruto, as well as getting a wind style, uh, well, wind step actually, as it was a technique that actually allowed him to do practically a double jump in real life. And you don't know how useful that shit is. So after that, Naruto went ahead and pretty much with his newfound power and skills, was just growing up the ranks. Oi Kurama, do you think we're gonna get a new mission today? Naruto would ask the nine-tailed fox as Kurama goes ahead and sighs. One can only hope, kid. Kurama and Naruto's well friendship was going well, as even though the fox was sometimes rude and pretty much annoying to the blonde, they were both pretty good friends and Naruto had to admit, out of anyone, he he connected with the Nine Tails even more than his teammates. Like he's not even gonna lie, he connected with the Nine Tails even more than his teammates. So that's that's literally, like that's literally like new levels of you ain't shit, bro. He talked to the supposed demon more than you. Be like, I got demons in my closet, and they're more important than you. So after that, yeah. So we go ahead and now change scenes to when Team 7 arrived at the Hokage's office. And suddenly, this is when the Hokage would begin to announce the D rank missions until suddenly Sakura would have enough. Ah, enough of this D rank missions, she would say. At this, 
Haruzan just looks at Sakura, causing her to actually blush and embarrass it and look down. As, as Haruzan was about to speak up again, this is when Naruto will speak up. Allow me to clarify um, by saying that pretty much I don't think that we really need to do day rank missions anymore. I believe we completed the amount necessary. At this, Haruzan would actually wonder what he meant, as well as Iruka, who was the pretty much the advisor for the Hokage. As Haruzan would go ahead and look around, he would actually see that correct Naruto was correct. They had completed the minimum amount of D ranks. But the thing is, how did Naruto know that? Was he just counting all those things? Were he saving them up? Like, at this, the Hokage had been gaining suspicion of the Young Blood for a while now. Naruto has been reportedly has gone missing around the village a couple of times, but only to be reported to be inside the village again. It, it creeped out Haruzen. He thought maybe going ahead and confronting the boy, asking him where he went, but whenever he, whenever he does so, Naruto was able to easily maneuver his way out of it. It caused Seto Kage to go ahead and like really wonder what was going on with the blonde. Plus was the recent development of Naruto's boil release, which Naruto, which, you know, he was thinking that maybe with this, Naruto could be put under maybe a CRA. But he was not 100% sure. He needed to really make sure of it. So, at this, Haruzan goes ahead and begins to nod. As he then says, alright, well, since Naruto here is correct, you have completed the minimum around of D-Rings. I know just the C-Rank to give you. At this, he will go ahead and motion for some Ombu to bring in someone. Causing Team 7 to actually be happy, including Naruto, who actually cracked a smirk. So after a while, they would then hear footsteps as they go ahead and turn to the door, only to see a drunken old man. Oh boy, thought Naruto. As suddenly, the old man would begin to slur in his words, begin to insult Team 7, saying that a bunch of baby-faced ninjas wasn't what he needed. But this is when suddenly, out of nowhere, a kunai would cut him right on the cheek, as it turns out the kunai came from Naruto. Watch the tone, old man, because it's the same brats that are the ones that are going to save you. At this, the old man would look at Naruto and he then says, uh, okay. As he instantly apologized with, with Kakashi telling Naruto not to kill the client, and Naruto just stating, like, if I wanted to kill him, he'd be dead by a second. At this, Kakashi just went ahead and pretty much agreed with that. Like, bro, Naruto, if he wanted to, you dead. It doesn't matter who you are, you dead. So after that, Haruzen goes ahead and just tells them to like continue on, which they obviously do so. As this is the beginning of Land of the Waves. So we do a time skip to when everyone's at the bridge waiting as Naruto had actually gone ahead and was currently right now talking to Kurama about him controlling the power and pretty much him and Kurama's bond. So Kurama, tell me, what do you think, what do you think your level is? At this, Kurama actually wonders that as well, as he, Naruto has actually tried using the system to see if he can measure Kurama's power, but due to the fact that Kurama and Naruto are pretty much, well, due to the fact that Kurama is inside Naruto, he can't really use the system for that. If Kurama was outside and, you know, maybe unsealed from Naruto, then yes, it would work. But besides that, it really isn't. In fact, the game must have considered Kurama more of a, uh, more of a equipment maybe? Yeah, like something you just equipment that was on upon his character, maybe. So, yeah, that's mostly what the game describes Kuruma as. So, after a while, Naruto would actually go ahead and enter a dungeon again. As, once again, a bunch of, actually, this time, it will be a bunch of minotaurs. Not big ones, just small little minotaurs, as each one of them would be, have, would be made of water and earth element. Well, we got a couple of time before we go off to, to land the waves. Hey, Kurama, start timing me, he would say. At this, Kurama would nod as Naruto had actually gone on a side quest, asking if he could go ahead and take on the Minotaurs in actually a short amount of time, giving him a total of three minutes. So he has three minutes to take them all out, which Naruto easily accepts that challenge. That is easy money right there, plus XP. So with that, Naruto ready up actually his daggers, as he goes ahead and dashes off at top speeds, ready to take on the beast. Bring it on! At this, Naruto will go ahead and instantly, using his blades, will begin to cut through them as we go ahead and do a time skip. So, Naruto, after taking down all those monsters, 
he well didn't get anything he did complete the reward you know he did get the reward for the quest so that was actually very helpful after that naruto left of course get buying some buying some ceiling scrolls well actually not buying he actually made his own now the reason for this is because naruto's point jutsu level had also increased now naruto could say that he was now a successful a successful level 11 well actually well a level more or less like a level 10 a level 10 seal master which was actually really high but still that was like an advanced level so with that naruto could now make his own season scrolls explosions and pretty much everything else so yeah naruto was making big money moves in fact some people actually asked naruto to go ahead and give them some scrolls and this made naruto think of the idea of maybe opening up a business Ooh, that sounds like a good idea so after that, Naruto arrived over there, of course, with the scroll in hand, not carrying a backpack like the others, which instantly raised the questions, especially from Sakura, who goes ahead and shouts, at why doesn't he have a bag, when Naruto just explained that he has a ceiling scroll. And also, it's, um, it's very not fitful for a ninja to be screaming, especially when they're about to head out to a village where they could possibly die due to their voice being loud as hell. At this, Sakura or instantly picked up on the evil tone that Naruto was speaking, so she promptly shut up. She still needs. To, she's still learning that this is a new version of Naruto. Plus, she's not getting. She's really not. She's really trying to get used in. Well, how could I say it? Pretty much, see more than Sasuke. So after that, Naruto goes ahead. And instantly begins to walk along with Team 7 as they all begin to go on their journey to the land of the waves. As we go ahead and do a time skip while walking, Naruto saw like Naruto decided to go ahead and actually check out his you know skills and menus. And he finds out he had a bunch of titles that he didn't even know. It seems like it seems like Naruto had gotten achievements. Wow, just when I thought I knew everything about the system, things like this happen. So apparently Naruto had a lot of achievements. And they were all sent to pretty much pretty much like were gifts so naruto went ahead and accepted them and he got a couple of titles that he equipped that he equipped himself with now remember guys like i said ships in this what if and pretty much ships in my all my what ifs are not always going to be the same thing so remember that as naruto continued accepting titles and everything he would go ahead and just sigh considering the fact that these titles were mostly meant for now but one of the titles were weird he was not going to get into it but he decided hey, why the heck not as he decided to accept the title anyway because it's not like there's a limit how many titles you have little did naruto know that that title well little did naruto know what that title would do and little did you guys know what that title would do <laughs> so after that naruto will go ahead and walk around until they finally discovered a pond at this, Naruto would go ahead and eye the pond as he used his observation skill to go ahead and realize that there was no, the, Chun, the two demon brothers as they were barely anything special. One, each one of them were actually level well, 15 as they were roughly about Sasuke's level which yeah Sasuke was now level 13. At this, Naruto seeing this would go ahead and sigh as he already knows that he can handle these things. As after a while, the demon brothers would go ahead and jump out, ready to attack and kill them. Well, mostly for Kakashi as they were rushing towards him. Nuh uh, Naruto would think. As he goes ahead and uses his daggers, disappearing in action. As he goes ahead and in one swift movement, kills one of the other brothers by stabbing him in the heart, but also paralyzing the other one while cutting, while cutting him with Viper, giving him a cut on the cheek, pretty much like Stain does, except Naruto's not licking the blood. So after that, Naruto goes ahead and spins around. As the brother will go ahead and look at his now fallen dead brother as he screams, You monster, how could you? But this is where Naruto goes ahead and swiftly roundhouse kick him in the face and him flying and you know hitting his back with the tree. <laughs> Damn it, he would think. As he goes ahead and once again gets stabbed by Salamander, giving him a burning effect, causing Salamander to actually scream out in pure agony. At this, Kakashi was actually impressed by Naruto as he already knew that Naruto was way above the getting level. But to think that he did all this made Kakashi even more proud of the guy. 
So after that, Naruto goes ahead and pretty much walks, pretty much walks away, telling Kakashi that it's up to him now, which Kakashi nods, as Naruto explains that his paralyzation was only going to last for about 10 minutes. Naruto had also increased the level of, well, Viper and pretty much everything, as yes, Naruto's equipment also have levels, so yeah. As after a while of discussion, just discussion, that's it, nothing else. <clears throat> Painful discussion. So after a while of torture, I mean, discussing, Kakashi went ahead and got the information that was needed. As after that, he goes ahead and interrogates, well, Tazuna. All the while, while Naruto and pretty much the rest of the team stay behind, Naruto gets back his dagger, although Sasuke eyed that dagger as if it was a trophy, as he really wondered who the hell designed that for him. He was planning on asking Naruto, but then when he remembered Naruto's promise about getting in his way, Sasuke did just that, you know, not, not getting in his way. Sasuke realized and did Sasuke doesn't seem to realize that Naruto once again, like I've been saying, he does not care about Sasuke or Sakura, their teammates, that's their only job. But after that, there's nothing else. There's no friendship, they're not colleagues, they're not nothing. That, which is one of the things I really did not like about Naruto is that he really did not have a life besides Team 7. Like, come on now, bro. You could have at least made him become friends with others and hang out with others besides Team 7. Like, come on now. So after that, Naruto goes ahead and just waits as Kakashi returns, telling them that this mission was now higher than they expected and that they must return to Konoha. At this, Naruto would go ahead and actually do some Naruto's leveling and everything. Naruto, I wouldn't say he's arrogant, or who am I kidding? Yes, he is arrogant, but not the way that you're expecting, like, oh, I'm better than you and everything. But his arrogance is that he does, he feels like he can do most things by himself, but not with others. Now, he's not like Sasuke, like, he's not, it's not like he's refusing to not work with others. It's the fact that he really is either like, you join me, if not, I don't need you, something like that. So, after Kakashi goes ahead and says that, Team 7 was prepared to go, only for Naruto to stay behind. He's like, yeah, you guys go on ahead. I'll stay. At this, Kakashi goes ahead and turns to him. He's like, Naruto, you really can't do that. But this is when Naruto speaks up. He paid for the mission, even though it was much, even though it was much, you know, lower than he intended, it was still a mission. And I'm planning on completing it. Even if I have to do it by myself. At this, Kakashi getting angry will go ahead and try try one more way to get naruto to obey using some killing intent and a threatening tone telling naruto that it was an order from his joining sensei at this naruto goes ahead and chuckles <laughs> oh yeah well i don't have to follow that order and, and besides let's be honest here at this naruto would then turn to kakashi having his eyes now currently red with with a slit as he then speaks who's gonna stop me at this, Kakashi now feeling the bloodlust coming off of Naruto, knew dead, knew right here and now that Naruto was not joking. Kakashi was a Jonin sunset, yes, but even he, a couple of moments, had a rough time with Naruto. Naruto was adaptive, strong, and was very calculative during battle. So instantly, he knew that if Naruto wanted to, he could really give Kakashi a run for his money, and there's not really a guaranteed chance that he can bring Naruto back. At this, Kakashi would sigh as suddenly Sasuke wouldn't speak up, saying that, oh, if Naruto's gonna do it, then he will, as he goes ahead and returns back. At this, Sasuke would go ahead and agree as well. Not mostly because, you know, Sasuke, because, you know, she's still under that influence, but still. So after that, Naruto goes ahead and begins to walk off, with Kakashi sighing, saying, all right, we're continuing the mission, as he goes ahead and walks with them. However... There was something that was plaguing Kakashi's mind, and that was Naruto's control over the famous Kayubi no Kitsune, or should I just say Kuruma. He was very confused by it. It seemed as if, at first he thought maybe Naruto was being influenced by the beast, but even that could not describe the power that Naruto was wielding. Plus, apparently this Kekagenkai, which yes, apparently boy release is a Kekagenkai, I guess. Because, you know, either you have, like, advanced chakra control and everything, like, you know how to blend the elements. But most of the time, it's usually advanced, and not many people in the show know how to use it. So, yeah. So, with that, Kakashi had been keeping a close eye on Naruto, just in case, you know, things go south. So, with that, Team 7 would go ahead and continue on with their mission. 
most of the time Naruto just being Naruto, completely ignoring everyone, and mostly focused on getting stronger, as his most important goal was to become Hokage. So after walking around for a while, suddenly Mist will go ahead and begin to storm into the area, causing everyone to begin to get on guard. As Tazuna goes ahead and shrug it off saying, oh don't worry, Mist is natural in the land of waves, he would say. But Naruto will go ahead and actually sense chakra due to the fact that his sensing skill had actually went ahead and gotten up. Besides, he knows Senjutsu, so yeah. As Naruto went ahead and formed two clones, nodding to them to go outside of the, you know, go outside of the of the mist and go ahead and begin to prepare some Senjutsu, which the clone happily obliged. So at that, Naruto will go ahead and instantly pull out the two daggers viper and salamander as he goes ahead and gets into a tiger taijutsu stance great he would think at this suddenly kakashi will go ahead and shout duck as each one of them will go ahead and go down dodging a large executioner blade from cleaving them in half well 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 look who it is says the voice at this everyone will go ahead and look up only to reveal the the one and only zabuza momochi at this, Naruto just chuckles, <laughs> show off, as he has read about Zabuza Momochi due to the fact that he gained a, a bingo book from a certain someone, I'm not getting into details here, just just Mizuki, because Naruto robbed him dry, but I'm just, you know, that was in the past. So Naruto knows about Zabuza Momochi, but isn't one bit intimidated. At this, Kakashi will go ahead and begin to go through the same thing in canon, where he goes and have his little talk with Zabuza of course you know going like oh Zabuza and oh Kakashi of the Sharingan which as soon as which as soon as Sasuke hears the Sharingan like he knew about it before when Kakashi went ahead and pulled that shit out during the fight against Naruto but still like yeah he was getting like he knew that like, yo that was that's some high stuff to know about him so pretty much after that whole fiasco Kakashi would go ahead and say that he was going to fight Zabuza, which Naruto went ahead and allowed him to, considering the fact that even he knew that you no matter, even if he had the, you know, Kayubi amp, it probably wouldn't be, a, he probably wouldn't be able to match Zabuza right now. So at that, both Zabuza and Kakashi would get into a battle, which goes relatively the same way as it does in canon. Kakashi getting more training, so due to the fact that Kakashi went ahead and got a few more hits in because, you know, He's a little, he's slightly a bit stronger than he was in canon, but it's just mostly due to the fact that he does not want to go ahead and, well, he doesn't really want to go ahead and see his skills lacking. So, just like in canon, Kakashi will wind up in the water prism as he orders them to run. And then Zabuza will go ahead and chuckle as he goes ahead and says, please Kakashi, these, these idiots are not even ninja. At this, Sakura being the only one who asks questions when a freaking guy who's gonna kill them asks him a question, she goes ahead and says, Why? As Zabuza goes ahead and begins to explain about his traumatic experience of how he slaughtered everyone in his class. At this, this would horrify both Sakura and Sasuke, but Naruto will go ahead and chuckle, causing everyone to be dead silent. <laughs> You're right. Those two may not be ninja, but don't you dare compare them to me. Now, at this, Zabuza goes ahead and actually asks, Oh, really? Then what's up with you then? He would say. At this, Naruto can't help but just chuckle. Oh, simple. You're right. I may have not been so I may have not done anything extreme like killing off all my classmates, but hey. At this Naruto gets down into a Taijutsu stance. At least I slaughtered my teacher. At this, everyone was surprised except for Kakashi who had, who had truly heard of the information. As Zabuza goes ahead and, and just goes ahead and just laughs at Naruto, please, as if you can go ahead and actually do that. You look nothing. At this, Naruto just smirked until suddenly he would then vanish, shocking Zabuza as he would then appear right in front of him. Don't underestimate your opponent. At this, he'll go ahead and kick Zabuza in the face, actually sending him flying, and pr pretty much Naruto just blitzed past the Zabuza clone. As Zabuza gets sent flying, Kakashi was released of the water prism. Jutsu actually surprising Kakashi as Naruto had already made some clones to take him back to shore. As he decided that he was going to hold off Zabuza for now. Alright, boy release, he would think. At this, he will go ahead and begin to increase his speed and strength with boy release. As not only that, but he will also gain a... I wouldn't say a much of a amp. I would say he gets like a, a influence amp from the Kaiyubi. As he goes ahead and dashes off. You know what? 
scratch the amp considering the fact that naruto really didn't want to rely on the power of you know kurama very much because you know he wants to see he wants to prove himself that he can go ahead and do it plus naruto believes that heck with the system he may be even able to surpass kurama at this kurama who would i also felt naruto's you know emotions and pretty much his thoughts just went ahead and grunt as he really regretted telling naruto about this otherworldly power that the system had because it seemed like that thing about it being from another world and that heck it surpassing his own power it seemed to start getting to naruto's head which is surprising considering the fact that out of everyone that stopped being arrogant he knew that naruto should definitely been one brad's getting way too cocky of his abilities he wondered no actually thought at this naruto begins to fight zabuza of course summoning multiple shadow clones as each one of them would shout out different jutsus like wind style wind arrow another one doing fire style burning lance another one doing light lightning style thunderbolt each one of them throwing different attacks and zabuza goes ahead and actually dodges them you're not bad brat at this naruto went ahead and actually kicked his executioner blade which zabuza used to block sending zabuza actually a couple feet away as naruto goes ahead and regains his balance yeah and you're not bad too no eyebrows at this zabuza goes ahead and actually gains a tick mark what did you call me? At this, Naruto will go ahead and gain an amused smile. He then says, Simple, you're Zabuza Momoji. The eyebrowless master swordsman from the mist, he would say. At this, this gains Zabuza to gain several takes more. He's like, I'm gonna kill you. Which Naruto then says, Ah, the feelings mutual. As both of them then dash off at each other, at each other the battle between them would be fierce. Naruto using his impressive dagger skills and pretty much everything that he got to face against Zabuza, which Zabuza is also fighting Naruto severely. At this, Kakashi was impressed with his, with his like, I guess you could say, student, even though he's never really teached him anything, but okay. As he actually couldn't believe Naruto's skill, his power, it, it was amazing. However, this was something that Kakashi wouldn't realize. Now, although Naruto may be, you know, strong and everything, and although he's adapting very quick to Zabuza, Zabuza is regaining some more of his old skill, considering the fact that both Kakashi and Zabuza have been have gotten rusty, so there's that. But right now, it seems like Zabuza is regaining more of his skill faster than Naruto can go ahead and just, you know, adapt to it. As both of them were fighting off at a very fast speed, eventually Zabuza would gain the upper hand, actually slicing down and it giving Naruto a ginormous cut on the actually a ginormous cut on the shoulder, causing Naruto to actually fall down to one knee. Shit. At this Kuruma has seen this, we just go ahead and chuckle. He's like, that's where you get you arrogant piece of. At this, Naruto goes ahead and shouts, Don't you complete that sentence? At this, Zawaza who was watching Naruto just down on the ground, would then say, I gotta admit, you're pretty good, brat. But I guess this is the end. However, right before that happens, Zabuza would go ahead and actually be surprised as Naruto, in a very in a very small instance, Naruto would use the very last amount of boil release to go ahead and cut Zabuza on the side, causing him to be paralyzed. Shit, he would think. At this, Naruto would go ahead and smirk. He's like, don't think some small injury is going to stop me. As due to the fact that Naruto being the Jinjuriki of the Kayubi, Naruto actually gained a skill, and that was his regeneration. Flashback. One time during the dungeon, Naruto went ahead and actually got cut up by a beast. As Kuruma goes ahead and tells Naruto, like, hey, like, chill out with that. Considering the fact that Naruto had, be had gotten a little bit reckless on the very last part. However, as Kuruma began to, you know, allow Naruto to recover, the system seems to register the Kayubi's healing power as Naruto's healing factor. So with that, a new skill actually acquired, a new skill actually popped up as Naruto gained, the, of course, the notification. A saying that Naruto now got his self-generation skill, which Naruto was actually really happy to have. And ever since then, Naruto has been maxing out that skill as it allowed him to recover very quickly and allowed him to continue fighting. The only sad thing was it only recovered his injuries, physical injuries, not his, not mental ones, and also not like, not his stamina. So yeah, even though Naruto was an Uzumaki, he still had like a lot of stamina. So really that didn't matter either. As Zabuza was actually surprised, Naruto would go ahead and begin to slice up Zabuza real good until suddenly he will also go ahead and actually fall down as Zabuza chuckles. Looks like that effect, it looks like the force still did some long lasting damage. Yo, you smart little eyebrowless freak! 
as you know watching this entire thing kakashi can't just help but feel like a like everyone feels like side characters or some like they feel completely useless right now as kakashi goes ahead and watches this he was now getting very really worried as he now is planning to jump in even though he had because now he finally regained enough energy this is when naruto and zabuzo go ahead and begin to flare up the chakra as they were preparing for one more strike hope you survived this one brat at this, Naruto just chuckles. Yeah, and I hope you survive too, you old eyebrowless. At this, Naruto goes ahead and, you know, just yells, oh, whatever, let's go ahead and finish this. As suddenly, in a pure instant, Naruto had engulfed his, his, you know, blade in the wind chakra. As Zabuza goes ahead and swings the, execu the executioner blade over his shoulder. As both of them look at each other with looks of determination, they will then both dash off at amazing speeds. As everyone's eyes will widen and suddenly, all we hear is a cling as both blades has slashed with each has you know clashed with each other. As suddenly just like that, both Naruto and Zawaza will appear behind each other. As both of them were not even facing each other's direction. At this, Naruto will go ahead and actually cough up blood. As he goes ahead and actually you know finally loses balance of chakra control and falls into the water. As Zawaza Zaw goes ahead and you know not even looking at him everyone would see that naruto had three had a huge slash mark over his chest this causes kakashi to worry as he sees a small miniature pool of blood go around naruto causing him to yell out naruto's name as for zabuza he goes ahead and smirks he then says you're not bad brat not bad at all as he goes ahead and prepares to finish him off this is when suddenly he will also feel pain as suddenly he will go ahead and gain two ginormous gashes on both of his shoulders causing him to fall down and also put allowing the executioner blade to fall off as well as just like that kakashi would have rushed over to naruto as suddenly zabuza would go ahead and actually be teleported away by this unknown mass nin and seeing that kakashi was about to go ahead and jump in to intervene but right now he need to worry about his student as for naruto he was just right now in a plane of shock he beat me at this Kuma just chuckled, he's like, good thing too, you're becoming a little bit arrogant there, brat. At this, Naruto goes ahead and says, I'm not getting arrogant, alright? It's called confidence in my abilities. At this, Kuma just goes ahead and sighs, and she's just like, my container is an idiot sometimes. So, after a while checking up on Naruto, thanks to Naruto's regeneration, just like, you know, without the Kayubi in general, and also, plus with the Kayubi as well, Naruto was able to regenerate quite quickly and was able to go ahead and sort of patch up the wound. He was still exhausted and couldn't move, so with that, Kakashi had to take Naruto, you know, to the house. Sorry, I damn, I damn, that would be hitting different. Ah. So, after a while, Team 7 would go ahead and actually ask Tazuna to stay at, the, at his house, which he would agree to, as he would take him there. So, time skip, Zabuza's house. So, would it have made it there to Zabuza's house? Did they go ahead and actually put Naruto down on a futon, which is a, a bed, technically, but yeah. As he goes ahead and lays rest there. At this, right now, Team 7 was right now trying to go ahead and figure out the memories. Kakashi was impressed with his student skills, but he had confidence about Naruto. But then again, he also feels ashamed of himself for allowing Naruto to go ahead and take on a shinobi like zabuza who could literally easily be on par with kakashi no he was on on par with kakashi as for as for sasuke he was having a very very sad and you know very frustrating occurrence as he went off and left to train considering the fact that he felt completely inferior to naruto and if you guys know sasuke has an inferiority complex where he needs to be the best of everything then yeah he needs to fix that as he just thinks, how is he getting stronger than me? As he goes ahead and continues training. Sakura was just impressed with Naruto's skills, as she really couldn't believe the change in the academy. Naruto's change literally was like two months ago, and now look at him now, he was to take on things that even Kakashi had trouble with? It terrified her actually. So with that, Sakura didn't even went off again went off to go ahead and you know evaluated sasuke pretty much just stalking him so yeah as for naruto naruto was right now getting laughed at by none other than the nine-tailed fox who was calling naruto a 
uh, a shrimp and that he was pathetic actually going ahead and thinking he can beat him only when he was only level 23 while Zabuza was someone way above that level uh, whatever you stupid fox I'll get him next time at this Kuruma just says right uh huh yeah <laughs> as he goes ahead and begins to laugh Naruto goes ahead and actually feels embarrassed by this. He even says, well, since I'm here, do you have any ideas for training? Any I think, anything I need to work on? At this, Kuma goes ahead and tells him that he needs to up his intelligence, considering the fact that it's obvious that that shit is not even working. If he really thought he could take on Zabuza. At this, Naruto goes ahead and just gets pissed off, thinking, thinking how a stupid fox can't even help him. So with that, he will go ahead and leave the mindscape. The time skip, Naruto would have woken up, which gained everyone's attention. They would have been, you know, asking Naruto, actually, a, pretty much asking if he was okay. Well, mostly Kakashi. The others just stood there to watch. And Naruto just told them that, yeah, I'm okay. As they go ahead, and actually, we go ahead and do a time skip. Once more, yeah, I'm sorry I'm doing a lot of these time skip, but, like, pretty much, there's not really much I can go in there. Naruto actually during the time scale actually he got a little bit stronger due to the fact that well one There's a dungeon here. There was a dungeon here in the land of waves and Naruto actually got really excited for it So he actually went decided to go ahead and explore So Naruto had been discovering dungeons all over the place He's been taking them on which allowed him to actually gain level 24 much to his excitement Plus, Naruto has also been, look, you know, mostly looking after Zabuza, considering the fact that he really didn't need Kakashi's training, which he was training Team 7 in tree walking. Naruto has also helped out Tsunami, who was actually very thankful of this very young and helpful boy being there. As he actually really thought of Naruto like another son. As for Inari, well, events between him and Naruto actually were pretty much similar to canon. Except Naruto didn't lash out, he didn't really say anything. All he told him was, look, I don't really care what you think, I'm gonna do what I want. If I die, well, I die. That's just my life. And you're not gonna control it by allowing me to go ahead and hide in fear. So due to that, Naruto went ahead and pretty much, he really just went ahead and continued training, doing his own business. As Kakashi informed Team 7 that also that Zawaza was alive, so yeah, there's that too. Also, Sasuke and Sakura improved. They learned the tree climbing exercise. Yeah, nothing really much there. So pretty much things are going the huge. As we go ahead and right now cut to Naruto, he was right now in the dungeon battling as he had told Ka Kakashi earlier today that he was gonna go deep in the forest to go ahead and train, which Kakashi went ahead and agreed to. Now as Naruto is fighting, He'll go ahead and summon multiple clones, each one of them using boy release as Naruto tells one of them to go ahead and, sh and shout the jutsu, which they do so. Fire style, one of them would say, fireball jutsu! As another one goes ahead and uses a lightning jutsu of Naruto's, Naruto was going ahead and seeing his progress with the smirk, until suddenly, after defeating a bunch of monsters, he would go and see a boss room. A boss room, he would think? You go ahead and run up to this labyrinth, well, this ginormous door, as he can tell that the boss that is in there is powerful. As Kunuma goes ahead and tells Naruto, like, hey, yo, you need to get stronger before you can take this thing on, which Naruto full heartedly agrees, not wanting to deal with the, you know, he already knew how he got his boy release. So he already knew not to mess with something like that. As Naruto continued walking, however, this is when suddenly he will go ahead and begin to check his rewards for taking down so many monsters here in the land of waves. Until suddenly he will come across a unknown object. What the? As he was just walking by, he would see this weird this weird thing that was just there. It was glowing. As suddenly it, it looked like a fruit, but then suddenly it wouldn't morph. As Narutachi had to cover his eyes, considering it was glowing pretty bright. As after it was done, Naruto would look back at it, and it looked way different than it was before. As Naruto goes ahead and grabs it, Naruto would then go ahead and see a pop-up menu appear. What the? As suddenly, it would then say, congratulations, new discovery. At this, Naruto would then read it. De Devil fruit? Yep, that's what I'm going for, guys. I told you this was like a multiversal system, and I told you this might be my most OP Naruto. What if? 
but still i hope you all do enjoy it yeah things are gonna go a little bit crazy you know things are gonna happen but who knows but i hope you all do enjoy it uh yeah type down what devil fruit i should go ahead and you know give nard so i don't really know what i should give him maybe i don't know the flame one and the sand i don't really know it's mostly up to you guys but tell me what devil fruit should i give naruto what should i do with it it's up to you guys but either way it is great zage and i'm out so peace and thank you very much all right bye